project was technology, a, a link to alphabet knowledge for kindergarten readiness, and our question was, can a tablet be an effective tool in rural community preschools to support and help document alphabet knowledge? Now, um, we felt that since um, the schools are going more and more towards uh, technology in the classrooms that uh, preschool should have a chance as well to, you know, experience the technology of learning. So, okay. and uh, these are the skills, some of the skills that they would be learning and this, uh, this uh, tablet was endorsed by um, the National Early Literacy Council and uh, the Council for Math. And um, this is some of the things that it did. You know, it helps them to say most of the alphabet rapidly. That's rec uh, reciting the alphabet and, you know, uh, naming objects. And it, it covers uh, a lot of the skills. We were uh, concentrating on the alphabet. So, um, next one, please. Okay. Okay. And we, we found that it was a, real, a good supplement, but as far as doing a main learning tool like that we felt like we were going to use it for, it, does, it didn't do as well as we had hoped in the alphabet knowledge. Um, it, it covered a, a lot of different areas. We were wanting to just specifically do alphabet with them, but we found a problem with the technology was it would, even though, because it had programming where you could uh, set it up and do for a certain time just one area, and it kept going back to all the other areas. So we just uh, decided that it was going to be a good all-around school readiness <laughs> tool to use, but as far as doing the alphabet specifically like we wanted, it didn't do as well. Um, it had the levels where uh, you'll see on the next page or so, there. Uh, they got to fill in these little dots. If they were the dot, just the dot, plain dot, it, that was in the tutorial mode. If it was an empty circle, it was emerging and developing was half and developed was filled in. And if they completed their skills, they got a star. And we uh, found that Attendance made a big difference in how well they did with this tablet. They were supposed to get uh, 30 minutes a week, which is seven minutes a day. And if they did not come to school, then their scores were a lot, were really low on this. And then that's just a picture of some of our students using the tablet. And this is the actual um, Skills, this is how our children did. This was all of our children. I took the names off, of course, but this is how they all scored on it. Yeah, and, uh, you know, as they did, if they completed one level, it was supposed to move them on to the next level. But we found that if you were a really good guesser on this tablet, it would move you on anyway. And even though the skills that on the pre-test and the post-test, we found that they, some children didn't do as well on that as they did on the tablet, uh, that the tablet showed. So that was a little off from what our scores were on our pre and post-test. Um, and this was, it has 18 school readiness skills on this tablet. Uh, let's see, click on this and see if it'll come up. Okay. Hang on, I got no, it did. did I got okay. 22 now. But um, math. the thing that it was supposed to come up, I went ahead, I was afraid it might not, so I went ahead and did put it in this packet anyway. This shows all of the skills and the areas that it works in. So I put that in there so you could look at it anyway because I was afraid it might not come up. And then this is just showing some more of our children, you know, using the tablet on the different skills. Hey, and we did have some compatibility uh, issues with our IT um, because uh, it could, when we first got it, it worked a little better, but 
They updated our network, so once they did that, we really had problems with it. Uh, we couldn't get it to connect to the printer so that I could print off, and it was supposed to, um, be, you were supposed to be able to upload the information and the scores that they got on this up to Teaching Strategy Go, but we could not get it to do that. Uh, it did, you could take pictures with it, and you could upload that to Teaching Strategies Go, but it wouldn't let you do anything else on Teaching Strategy Go. And that's something that you can do with an iPhone or Android anyway if you download that app with Teaching Strategies Go on that phone. So it didn't do any more. So we're hoping in the future to get some of that worked out um, so that we can use, use it better next year. Uh, this is uh, the pre and post test that we give our children. It tells about uh, reciting alphabet, letter sound, whether they can write their letters, uh, whether they can name their upper and lowercase letters, identify them. Okay. Uh, will we use it again? Yes, we are going to use it again because we invested a lot of our money into this, the grant that we got. Yes, we will use it again. And we are hoping to be able to work out all the bugs, like I said, next year, at least most of them, for next year so that we can use it. But uh, if I had the option to purchase another one, I don't believe I would. I think I would go more like Tamara did with the iPads, where that, because you can specifically download apps on that but to work on the goals that you want. So uh, finally, overall, um, it did prove itself to be effective because all of the children improved in their alphabet knowledge, but uh, it wasn't what I was hoping for um, when I was expecting out of it. Um, but like I said, hopefully next year we can get more of the bugs worked out and we'll be able to use it the way I wanted to use it. So, And Miss Pat was my person that did the, the technology with them and the, that was her a job we all divided it what we were going to do with the kids and she was the technology person on it so she's going to tell you a little bit about the tablet we only did it on our four-year-olds the ones that we really need to do that but I hate to say my four-year-old someone was smart enough they could outsmart my tablet because they could guess if they didn't know it they would guess and 90% of their guesses was right and see, it can't tell you that. It can't tell you which child knows this and which child don't. So the guesses were perceived to be as good as the ones that didn't know it. So what we would have to do, we would have to so reset know. the tablet and let them try again. So, but they like it. Yeah, they, they, like they all it enjoy lot. it very much. I and do seven minutes a day, each day, with all my four-year-olds. Mm -hmm. And some of my three-year-olds are moving up to the four-year-old stage and getting smart enough, and I'm sort of trying to pull them because this is going to be theirs next year. You know what I'm saying? And they're all really super, super interested. Mm -hmm. When I'm doing this, they're looking over the shoulders and wanting to do it too. Yeah. So I'm sort of looking forward to that. I want to see if I can find a way to get them out of that guessing mode because they'll look at me, which one is it? I said, I can't tell you. you got to do this on your own. So then they just go and guess, and they get it right. 90% of the time, they get it right. Mm -hmm. And there's like three different answers. And with the alphabet, there's like five or six different letters, and they still guess it and get it right. So that's not really telling her what she wants to know. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. <laughs> now, uh, I do know that uh, the, the children that were in attendance, most of the time they did really well on this and um, we've got one child that uh, was doing sight words and uh, uh, we, she got we, three stars we, on yeah tablet. we started her even she's doing little readers she's but it don't just do right the now. alphabet it does yeah. add and subtract it. Yeah. it does pattern yeah it it's good 22 the different things that it's done yeah. so far this year with them and if they don't do real good on it the first time the next time they get back on it, it will take them right back to where they was at, so they have to start all over and try to do better on it. And but the patterns some, was something I did find as well as I take a lot of work home, as I'm sure all of you do, 
And when I took the tablet home to go over everything and go over the scores and everything, it wouldn't let me access it from home. I don't know. I live in a different county than what I teach. I don't know if it was that or what, but it wouldn't allow me to access it. And thank you very much for your time and listening to me. And Ms. Pye, we really appreciate it.